This is Twit. Mary Jo Foley, Paul Therott, Leo Laporte, talking windows. And here we go. You've been waiting the moment you've all been waiting for. It's Docker time. What, <laughs> what is Docker? Okay. Now, I can tell you, uh, this may seem like a story that's really boring and not, not a big deal. But no, when I no, heard no, that no. Microsoft was doing this, it's huge. This is a huge deal. Okay. So Docker is, uh, a, a lot of times you see people describe it as a shipping container. Like a, like a physical shipping container. And it is a container technology, a new container technology that lets people um, develop, distribute, and deploy applications more easily. It's open source. It's um, being made by a company called Docker Inc. That's, that's the company behind this Docker, this new container that we're talking about. And it's really a popular technology in Linux. Well, this, this week, Microsoft's did an alliance with Docker Inc. where they're going to create a version um, of their own container technology that's going to be part of the next version of Windows Server. And Docker is going to, and Docker and Microsoft together are going to put the Docker engine on top of that. So this is going to let people in the .NET and the Windows world start using Docker containers to um, build, deploy, and uh, host their applications. And so you can either choose to put your Docker uh, containers right on top of Windows Server on-premises, or you you're also going to be able to put them uh, in Windows Server on Azure so that you can run them in the cloud. So I know it's it sounds kind of obscure, but this is like a really, really new hot trend in cloud computing especially. Everybody's jumping on the Docker ba bandwagon lately. IBM's in there, Microsoft, Rackspace, Google, and all the all the Linux vendors like Canonical and Red Hat. Everybody's all, like really all excited about Docker and containers. So I'll, I'll, it's been a big criticism of Microsoft that they haven't had a, a play here, and that they have seemed like they haven't been really keeping up with this with this uh, particular trend. But now that they're here, everybody's saying, "Wow, here here it comes!" and I've seen a, a number of people covering this today saying, yeah, it's so far away though, but it's not really far away because we know Windows Server Next, which is where this is going to start showing up, is coming out by mid next year. So it's very close, uh, relatively speaking, that Microsoft's actually going to be playing more actively in the space with Windows Server. So that's so, why I was really excited. No, in fact, there are a lot of people who are, who are excited about this too. Um, yeah. Linux Journal says that containers are the future of cloud, not virtual machines. Containers are the yep. are the way we're going to move forward. And uh, in fact, Ed in the chat room said uh, uh, it's about time we got uh, Docker on Windows. He's very excited about it. Yep. So this and yep. it's this is this feels like a Satya Nadella thing, kind of opening up a little bit to the idea that mm -hmm. uh, there's other choices, including open source choices out there. Yep. And Scott Guthrie too, who runs Cloud and Enterprise, he's been a big open source backer at Microsoft, and I'm sure he had a big hand in, in making sure this happened. Um, if you had, if you had told people in the Microsoft world, just even like a year or two ago, Hey, you know what? Docker is going to come to windows server. People would have just laughed. Right. They would have, they would have been like, right. Ha, huh, sure. Or even, even being able to run Docker on Linux uh, in Azure, people would have been like, Oh, you're crazy. That's never going to happen. But here it is, everybody. Docker. Yay.